Hello everyone. Well, in this video, I'm going to discuss how to work with JWT token. And for that, I'm going to use these three different URL. The first URL will be used for the user registration. And this is the body which we need to send along with this request. The second URL will be used for the authentication of this created user. And the third URL is for sending the request which is guarded by the JWT token. That means when we are sending the request to this URL, we need to attach the JWT token along with the request. If we don't attach the JWT token while sending the request, we will get 401 that is unauthorized. So this is how the flow works. So first I'm going to create a web service request of type post. And this will be used for the registration. From the test script, I'm going to send the post request and then verify the response. Then I will create one more web service request. with type post and this is for authentication again from the test script I will send the request with same user detail which we used in our step one and then verify the response So from the response, I will extract the JWT token. Then I will create one more web service request of type get. And from the test script, we are going to send the request along with the JWT token. And then verify the response. So this will be our flow. So in the object repository under the post request, I'm going to create a new web service request. So for both sign up as well as authentication, we are going to send the post request with the same body. So I'm going to use the same web service request for both the calls. So post HTTP header as content type and the value is application slash JSON. So I'm going to create two variables. One is for the URL and second one is for the body. So I'm going to use the URL variable over here and the body variable here. So from the test script, we are going to pass the value of the body variable, whereas from the profile, we are going to pass the value of URL variable. In the similar manner, I'm going to create the web service request of type get. So this is the URL which we need to use while sending the GET request. HTTP header, so accept and value is application slash JSON. Now when we are sending the GET request, we need to attach the JWT token. So let me open the authorization tab and currently there is no way I can attach the JWT token here. So as a workaround, I need to manually attach the JW token in the header directly. So if you look at the postman, whenever we add the JWT token with the request, it will be added in the form of authorization header. So I'm going to use the same approach with our request. 
so in the header I will use authorization and I'm going to create the variable for JWT token so in the header so this is the value that means the JWT token will be prepended with the bearer so I will pass that and then our variable So in the default profile, I will add the variable which will point to the authentication URL as well as the signup URL. So under the test case directory, I'm going to create a new directory. And inside this directory, I will add a new test case. So first I'm going to add the web service keyword that is going to send the request for registering the user. one more web service keyword that is going to send the post request so that user can be authenticated and after that one more web service keyword for sending the request to the get endpoint so let me switch to the script mode so first of all we need to create the body So this is the body which I'm going to use. It represents the username and password. So when I send the post request, it is going to register the user with this name and with this password. And the URL can be accessed using the global variable class. After sending the request, I will add the assertion on the status quo to make sure that our registration happened successfully. So I will capture the response in the variable of type response object. Then we need to send the request to the authentication URL and when the request is successful, we will get the response and the JWT token will be in the response. So I will reuse the response object here. Again, I will verify the status code. Now for the second post request, the body will remain same. And the URL is from the global variable. To extract the token from the response, I will use the JSON slur per library.
and then I'm going to pass the token in our get request. So as we are passing the parameter to this call, so during the runtime, the value of this variable will be replaced, whatever value we pass from the test script. And after that, I'm going to just verify the response by asserting on the status code. So let me run this test. So our test script is passing. Let me also print the token at the console. And let me rerun this script. So in the console, you can see here, this is the JWT token, which we get after the registration and authentication. So let's say I do not pass the JWT token. In that case, I should receive 401, that is unauthorized status code. Okay, so our script is failing because of 401 as we are not passing the JWT token with the request. So now our test script is passing. So in this manner, you can work with the JWT token using the Catalon Studio.